Charlie is going for the full country bumpkin outfit of the day. Actually, can you just talk us through your outfit of the day, darling? It's very practical. Um, mm -hmm. The hat actually does really have a function. It's not just to make me look like a sort of country pirate. <laughs> you look like the Cotswold answer to I'm Indiana a Jones. Pirate. Okay. Um, <laughs> this obviously is the more comical thing because I don't need a walking stick, but it is quite nice to just sort of like casually bash things out of the way. Okay. Uh, it's also got a whistle, so it's uh, multifunctional and versatile. It's also got a timeless design. Um, <laughs> Price and, for use. No, I mean, obviously, in all seriousness, these are my favourite boots for walking the dogs in when it's wet. Mm -hmm. From Le Chamou, classic barber wax jacket, and then the new leads from Le Chamou. Oh, they're so nice. They've got Pretty like epic. the um, disc on them. Mm. Very nice. Um, so, yeah, boom, boom. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me do one more. <laughs> Good morning, my darlings. So welcome to a new vlog. Today we have got lovely cat with us again, so we are out and about taking some snaps. It's quite early, <laughs> hence the puppy face. Um, we've just come out to our nearby field <laughs> to take some photos. Charlie is styling a major countryside outfit and I am wrapped up toasty warm. This is a beautiful, very long, very smart trench coat from Holland and & Cooper and it is so, so warm, such beautiful, such a beautiful design with this gorgeous lapel. So I'm gonna get a few snaps in this and then we're heading out for a little drive, not sure where we're gonna go, um, just to get some Instagram content for the next couple of weeks. I have somewhat of a green and leafy backdrop, backdrop <laughs> to start this morning's vlog so it's not quite such a culture shock but I am in fact in central London today so today is my I'm calling it like my fortnightly retreat into the city coming in of course to get my nails done I actually have um, my first kind of proper London work meeting, although it's gonna be a really nice fun one. I'm catching up with the girls from Galan at the Brasserie of Light in Selfridges for lunch. I've got about an hour until that, so I'm thinking I'm gonna to go to Zara, um, and I actually need to do a little bit of video editing, which I didn't get done on the train because it was so quick. My train was 53 minutes this morning, um, so I might sit down with a pumpkin spice latte and get that done. Then um, I'm heading to Harrods. I've got a rose facial with Shantikai, which I am beyond excited for. I love that brand. Um, the spa at Harrods is so lovely, and I love rose products, so that should be gorgeous. Then nails, um, and hopefully I'm meeting M for nails, because London Grace have got a deal on at the moment if you go in a pair, so that should be really lovely. Then I'm meeting my friends Vicky and Hannah for dinner at Flesh and Buns, so it's gonna be a really nice day. I'm just so grateful that coming into London really is so easy. I don't feel isolated at all with where we live. It's just brilliant, and where the train gets in, I mean, five minutes walk, and I'm at Portman Square, right by Selfridges, so yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Hopefully you can hear me over the traffic noise, that's one thing I do not miss. Um, and when we get into Selfridges, I'll show you my outfit of the day because it's quite cute and cuddly, if I do say so myself. I think it's gonna rain a little bit later on. Um, so I have got a brolly in my bag, but I'm well prepared, I'm feeling snuggly, and I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of shopping. So, let's go. I've come into Zara, instantly spotted this lovely dress. I do love a dress that you can wear with something nice and warm underneath and some nice boots. I feel like, let's see how much. 49, I was kind of hoping it'd be a little bit cheaper. 
They've got some nice floral options as well. I wish they had this one in the same length as that one, although this is nice for those days where it's not quite as chilly. Again, 49. I feel like Zara put their prices up. But with my Saint Laurent boots, that would look so nice. This is very Holland Cooper-esque. I think this is the same wool brand that H&M use. Not a bad price for a wool coat. So this brown skirt is almost identical to one that I actually ordered from the Outnet, but I sent it back because I didn't feel like it was quite the right price. This is $49.99, which is much better. I feel like everything I've picked up so far has been $49.99. That is really nice. I just wish it was wool. I'm not sure I'd wear it as much as a wool skirt. I feel like this time last year I would not have looked twice at this, but for a gardening fleece <laughs> or a dog walking jacket, I think this is really nice. A bit of sage in there as well. This is also really lovely. I like this shade of green. Nice for throwing on over the top of a blouse if it gets a bit chilly. These colours are really beautiful. This reminds me of my Max Mara knit. With very relaxed sleeves. For an affordable work dress, $29.99, that is beautiful. This is so soft, the perfect chunky knit. $29.99, that is pretty good. That doesn't feel itchy in the slightest either. And that is such a nice colour. This looks so expensive, this could be like a cake top or something. Wow, it is expensive. Okay, this is cute. <gasps> so nice. Okay, a very quick outfit of the day before someone comes into the bathrooms here at Brasserie of Light. I appear to have my skirt lining caught up. I've got my C by Chloe skirt on from the Outnet last year. C by Chloe boots on, again from the Outnet or net a porter sale a couple of years ago. Um, the brown knit, I think is Theory, I think. Prada bag. I've got my Missima bracelet on, ring from Victoria's Edge of Ember collection, and the necklace is from Victoria's Edge of Ember collection as well. Pearl bracelet from Majuri, my Samsung Galaxy watch, and then I bought my big, cozy, under the stories coat for popping around my shoulders outside, but it's quite a nice one to wear over the shoulders as well. And then my sunglasses, finishing detail, are just my little cheap ones from Topshop. How cool are these bathrooms? Haven't been here in about a year, I think. Very cool. Pretty sure I have the best table in the house. Got this amazing view. Fun fact, I used to work in that building there, which is the Reese flagship on Barrett Street. They've got perspex, I don't know if you can even see it, but they've got like perspex um, dividers between the tables, which is fantastic for social distancing. And it's really cool. I think it's Jamie and Hurst. Sparkling unicorn. I have not had one of these in a while, but I could not walk past an Elan without getting my Lucky Charm oat milk latte. Okay, I am fueled up on oat milk latte. Lucky Charm's oat milk latte. That was so good. I don't think I've had one of those since. January, maybe even not even, maybe not even this year, goodness, and lunch was delicious. I had the bang bang chicken salad. The word salad is used very loosely because it was like fried chicken, noodles, and a couple of leaves thrown in for good measure. It was delicious, and I have some lovely goodies from Galan to try out when I get home. I'm now walking through Hyde Park, which is looking so beautiful. Actually not that much colour in the trees around here, but oh, there's a little bandstand. I feel like whenever I walk through Hyde Park I discover a new part of it that I didn't know before. I mean, it's so lovely. You can still get your green, fairly fresh air fix even if you live in central London. It really is lovely. So I am now taking this as my route, a slightly 
longer detour. Could have got there a little bit quicker if I walked on the roads, but I thought I would take the green route. Um, heading to Harrods, just panning around, showing you what I'm seeing instead of my face, which you've seen enough of lately. Um, oh, they're quite nice. They'd look really nice if they were dried. I wonder what they are. They look like little sponges. I'm sure they're just weeds, but they look quite nice. Um, Yes, heading to Harrods for my Shantikai Rose Balm Facial, which I'm very excited for. And I'm also hoping that there is a plug socket and Wi-Fi in Harrods because I need to get my video uploaded for 5 p.m. tonight. It is my autumn essentials for every budget. Hopefully I'll get it up in time. So I'm now downstairs in the haven that is the beauty rooms on the lower ground floor of Harrods. This is the Chantikai room. All their lovely products over there, looks so beautiful. And we're gonna be having a facial to experience the new Rose de May cleansing balm, which sounds absolutely heavenly. So I will see you on the other side. I'm looking very fresh faced because I've just come out of the room from the Chantikai facial and oh, oh, that was absolutely heavenly. This whole space, I don't even see much around me, is so beautiful. I think Harrods redid their beauty hall about a year ago. Um, I don't know if this space, look at me with my cool earring. Um, I think Harrods redid this space about a year ago and it is absolutely stunning, very opulent, very luxurious. So I experienced the Rose de May Cleansing Balm, which is a product which you can buy and oh my gosh, so, so beautiful. The most gorgeous fragrance, beautiful texture, got rid of my makeup instantly. I cannot wait to be able to enjoy that in the evenings in the comfort of my own home. We also did a little bit of extraction. Um, she said I'm quite congested on my cheeks, could be from masks, but also from digestion. So she was saying that I should take a, um, a tea to help me digest my food after each meal. So I'm definitely going to look into that. If you guys have any tips on any good digestive teas, please let me know. I've popped on a clean mask. This is my one from Brora um, that kindly sent me that lovely cashmere. And then I've also got my snazzy mask from Sassy Holford which goes a little bit better with my outfit. Um, so I'm just sat here, I've just filled in my brows, I've got my laptop plugged in over there, using the Harrods Wi-Fi to upload tonight's video. Luckily it's going, it's uploading quite quickly. And then in 40 minutes, I'm meeting M at London Grace. So as soon as my video is uploaded, shout out to other YouTubers that know what, it, that know what it's like when you're trying to find Wi-Fi and power to get your videos up. That is what, that's one thing that is a pain in the butt when you are daily vlogging is finding Wi-Fi. But yeah, as soon as that's uploaded, I'm gonna march back through Hyde Park to London Grace to get my nails done. So we've made it to London Grace for some pampering. I am here with the wonderful M, who's I looking. I'm smiling. <laughs> I can tell from your eyes. You're smiling with your eyes. Oh my goodness! And we are getting our manis done. So we're using um, London Grace. We've got a special offer: pampering in pairs, where two people can get their gel manis done for fifty pounds, which is a great saving. I'm getting flower bed folly. I think mine's called. What are you going to go for? I'm going for satin pyjamas. I love that one. Neutrals. I love it. I feel like satin pyjamas and flower bed folly are really good, like autumn nudes. Yeah, uh, they're they quite brownie nude. Hmm. And we're both being very good. We've foregone the cocktails, which are amazing here, for tea. <laughs> I love that. 
chin chin. Are uh, done. Let's see. Oh, that looks gorgeous. So yours is satin pajamas. Yeah, it's nice. That's yeah. so beautiful. And mine is flower bed folly. They look really similar. I'm gonna go through and search similar shades. So nice.